Microsoft Office front page was a what you see is what you get HTML and web pet site administration tool from Microsoft. It was part of Microsoft Office application suite from 1997 to 2006. A Macintosh version was also released in 1998. Microsoft front page has since been replaced by Microsoft Expression Web, which was released in December 2006. In this short overview of Microsoft front page, I'm going to introduce you to some basic features and show you around my example website. Microsoft front page can be found through your start menu, all applications, and either located in the Microsoft Office folder or directly from all programs. When you first open Microsoft front page, you'll notice the what you see is what you get user interface with drop down menus, buttons and cursors. cursors. To start the new website, first click File, New, and go to Page or Web. This will now open a tab bar on the right hand side, which provides several options including new blank pages, new empty web, or you can choose pages from an existing project or choose from templates from existing templates or templates found on the Microsoft website. Today I'm going to show you around my existing website, so I'm going to open from a web. Now when files are originally saved, they're saved into a special type of folder which is a web folder. This acts as a link up file for FTP loading or other types of loading which will then be uploaded to the internet to access your website. So I'm going to open up the page now and what you'll first see is there's three different types of views at the bottom of the page. We've got the normal view which we're currently in and then we can move across to the HTML page. Now this is uh, the HTML coding which um, more advanced users may wish to use to create um, more, advanced more advanced effects. What the normal mode is actually doing is providing what you see is what you get user interface that is then converting what you're putting down into code which can be then used to place onto the internet. So we have the HTML view which many basic users and users are starting out may not wish to even look at. We've also got the preview. Now this is what the website will look like in your internet browser, whether that's Internet Explorer, Firefox or Safari or any others. This view is useful to checking that your objects are in the right place, that you, you're happy with the design of your page before publishing, but you can also preview in a web browser with, um, obviously at, the, at your discretion again. Now going back to normal view, we can this is the this is the area that we edit. Now somewhere I like to always start when looking at editing a page is navigation structure. Here you can see that this website, this school website, has a complex navigation structure which all interlinks. This ties in with the with the pages template which in, which is incorporating navigational structures at the top hand of the the top left hand side of the page and the left hand side of the page also. The left hand side of the page provides links to uh, to the top the, the the pages under the parent page, which is the home page at the top of the page, and the and also a back button to a previous page, and the top page provides links to to selected pages. Now with a navigational structure to add a new page, you simply click on a page and click new and go to page or custom link bar. You want to get a page. Now adding a page there will create a page underneath the page, the parent page. The bars can be extended by pressing the plus or negative keys to see all the pages under each section. Looking at the top we can see, going back into our page now, and normal view, by clicking insert we can see that we can insert a web component. Now a web component is a specific part that, for instance, uh, a web component could be a hover button, a marquee which is moving text, a banner ad, you can add web searches, hit counters, photo galleries, link bars. These are all things that I just recommend for you to explore and I've explored in this website. I've, in, I've incorporated um, link bars in this website, I've incorporated a marquee on the front page and I also believe, oh yes, in the game section there's hover buttons as well. 
So to add one of those, you just click um, next, if appropriate, or finish, and it will guide you through. And it's quite simple. You'll often you'll also recognise that the interface provides a lot of uh, icons that you'll recognise from from other Microsoft Office programs such as Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. The help menu is an also a great place to go for additional help. You can get the Microsoft front page help. You can get Office on the web, and you can also detect and repair the product. Now, the file menu provides several options, including saving, um, importing and exporting files, documents, um, images, etc., as well as the actual document. You want to go to insert for pictures and as such. The file, in, the file import and export is the actual file itself where you're exporting it to. Again, we have that preview in browser, and we can print the page. And most importantly, probably is this button that says publish web. Now, this is where you get this is the gap. This is this is the button that links you between the uh, Microsoft front page and the internet and the internet in the internet. Now, I upload this website using an FTP server. So I press the I press my publish button, and I will type in my FTP address, which I will get from my server. And then I type in my password and click OK, and the website automatically updates. It will ask you if you want to just update the changes or update the whole website. So that's an option for you. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this very short overview of Microsoft front page, and I hope you'll um, click the link below for the website to have a full view at my example website. Thank you very much.